Okay, so now I'm at the point where I'm asking myself, do I need to go into a studio? When it comes down to studio time, as a singer, often you'll find that when you're working with producers, a lot of producers don't always have like studios, they don't have good microphones, and often producers prefer just to work on music. There's two types of producers. You've got the producer that makes the music, the beat maker, and then you've got the like vocal producer. The vocal producer needs to have a good studio for you to sort of want to work with him. You need to first get the music and work practice on the music, make it sound really good and once you've practiced over and over and over again you'll then be ready to do like home recordings. So this is what I've done, like I found a producer, he got me some good music, I was practicing a lot at home and we spent ages and ages trying to like get a good home recording version. I tried really hard to get the vocal to sound really good but there was something not quite right about it. I felt like it could be better and stuff and so because of that, I felt that it was really a good time to go into the studio. You know you're ready for a studio when you feel that you need to take it to the next step and that the music is worth spending money in a studio on. He contacted me saying that he was a rapper and he's got some songs and that he would like me to sing the chorus for part of the songs. The music sounded good and I wanted to work with him so I did my research, found out about the studio, you know, he's legit, he's working with lots of other clients and stuff. I also brought my video camera and then we ended up spending like half an hour on getting some just good video clips. What you're doing, what you're saying, can't you see that you're just lying? Who you feeling, why you schooling, can't you see that you're not trying? Why can't you see what I want you to be? I stand up and get close to me. You say you're in love with the sound of the smile, but I want more than just a dial. That's my love. Yeah, I met up with him, we recorded in the studio, we were quite impressed by how he handled things, by how professional he was, by his studio, and I wanted to work more with him and I felt like, you know, that you deserve to get paid because this is something worth being paid for. I've had lots of music producers, but until recently I haven't felt the need really to pay them because most of them were either just sort of learners, beginners themselves, or people who are studying music, or people who are happy to work for me and then try and get some money from the outcome at the end. Till now, now, those are the people that I've been working with. When it comes to paying for a studio, you should never pay more than sort of 15 to 30 pounds for a sort of home studio version. If it's in a proper studio, it would probably be a lot more, but you should never really spend more than so much on it because you know the songs might not do anything. Right now, I did it more as an experience rather than to actually gain some good tracks. Like I want to get some good tracks and I want to be able to do something with them, but at the same time, I know probably more work needs to be done on them, more money needs to be spent on them before I can actually progress and get them out and get them into the charts and stuff. That's just what I'm aiming to do. If you're a producer, music producer, and you want to start charging your clients and stuff, first of all, maybe start offering free services to people, try and build up a client base and stuff. If you have a good studio, then that's the best way to make money because then you can actually show people, like, here's my studio. This is something that you need to like pay for. You have to spend lots of money on it. Then people will start paying you because you deserve it and stuff. The studio that he had was actually like a homemade version. It's just you get some wood, put it around in a square shape, and then you get lots and lots of padding. About I think it's six inch foam or something. Put it around the outside, um, get sheets, tie it in and stuff, and it, it looked really good. It felt so much better, sort of singing in front of a studio. If you're in like a, a black room and you know you've got a really good microphone in front of you, you, know, you feel professional. You feel like you know this is it. You need to try harder to get a good vocal because you know you're paying for the time and you're under sort of more pressure and you you feel like you know this is it. I have to do well. And after you've got it, you know you feel more satisfied with your result because you know oh I've just got that from a proper studio and I've spent money and time and put effort into that. And so you feel more proud of it. Whereas if you do like home version recordings and you kind of feel like oh it can be better you know I can't make it better because I have all the time in the world and stuff and so I think it's a lot better it's so much better recording in a studio you shouldn't do it too early a few years back when I was working with my first producer he was making the music and then he decided that he didn't really want to put the vocals onto it but because he was living on the other side of the world I had to just go into the studio myself find someone who's got a good price and there's one producer that I found you know he was really good I absolutely loved one of his songs <laughs> I 
loved his song and I thought he was a really good producer, but the outcome that we got wasn't that great. I think what went wrong was that he was trying to make the vocal sound similar to the music, but the vocal and the music were very two very different things. You just couldn't make them fit. It's no one's fault, it's more just that I hadn't met the right people and I hadn't got the right material. So it's important when you go into a studio to know when's a good time to go into the studio. Like, if your music's not ready, if your lyrics aren't ready, then there's no point of going into the studio because all you end up doing is wasting money. You know, you have to really practice beforehand, you have to try home versions, see what works, see how it sounds. Boop, 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 boop.